This is again a problem of dependent motion. We have two objects A and B. They are connected by a rope with a fixed length of seven feet. And at the moment shown, the velocity of object A is known. That's four feet per second to the right. And we need to determine the speed of object B at this moment. So we're going to follow the same procedure. The first thing we want to do is to establish a datum. A datum is always established at a fixed position. Therefore, I'm going to establish the datum here. And then the next step is to represent the position of the object using a position vector from the datum. So for object A, this is my position vector as A. And for object B, don't forget the position vector has to be from drawn from the datum, therefore it's from here to B. So this is as B. As you can see, according to this definition, positive position for B is to the left. So now the next step is to find the relation between SA and SB. These two objects are connected by the length, the rope with a fixed length, and that's important. That's what we're going to use to establish this re relation. So the total length of the rope is given by this portion, which is simply SB, plus this portion. So we have SB plus this question mark equals to a constant length 7. And this question mark can be easily evaluated from the Pythagorean theorem because we have a 90 degree angle here, which is 3 squared plus SA squared. Don't forget, SA is only 4 at this moment, but we're trying to find a general relation between SA and SB. Therefore, you should not put 4 here, but you should put SA here and then square root. And that equals to 7. And you will realize that this value, 7, doesn't, uh, is not mean, so meaningful. What's important is to recognize that it's a constant. Therefore, the next step is to find the time derivative of the entire equation. Therefore, the left-hand side becomes dsb dt plus d square root 3 squared is 9 plus SA squared, so SA squared plus 9 divided by dt. Right-hand side is simply 0 because for a constant, its time derivative is 0. So the reason why we do this is because we're looking for velocity, and velocity is the time derivative of position. Therefore, this part right here is simply, is simply v, Vb, what we're looking for. So if we can evaluate this part at this moment, then VB, then we can find our VB. So for this part right here, we're going to use the chain rule that you've learned in calculus. So we have VB plus D SA squared plus 9 DSA times DSA DT. And again, the reason we do this is because now this part, dsa dt, is simply the va that we already know. For this part right here, if you cannot find the derivative directly, you can use chain rule again. So we have vb plus dsa squared plus 9. This is to the 1 half power, which is the same as saying square root. dsa squared plus 9 times dsa squared plus 9 dsa times dsa dt we already said that that's simply va therefore we have vb plus this right here is one half times sa squared plus nine to the negative one half the power times two times sa that's what this is times va equals to zero and we know that at the moment shown sa is a four SA is a 4, VA is also 4. So from here, you can solve for VB to be negative 3.2 foot per second. So this is the answer. The negative sign is a simply, simply 
represents that the velocity of object B is to the right. But remember, SB is established in a way that left is positive. If you're trying to determine the speed, the speed is simply 3.2 foot per second.